Uh, my name's Chris Amundsen. I'm a structural engineer and associate at Oricon. And I'm Callum Lollywhite. I'm a senior structural engineer at Oricon. Best way to explain it is if you if you think about a campfire. You put a twig on a fire, it burns. It burns instantly. You put a log on the fire and it'll keep burning. And you get up in the morning and sometimes it's still going. Yeah. And that's not too dissimilar to what we have here. You know, you look at the size of the timber that we have here, it is called massive timber. It's huge blocks of timber. Um, and then there's a whole thing on charring. That... Yeah, so the charring effect is essentially, um, as you know, when you burn timber, uh, it chars. And so this timber, which is actually um, um, comes out of Austria, it's Austrian spruce. Uh, and the charring rate is very well researched. In this case, it chars uh, at a rate of 0.7 millimetres per minute. And then we have a fire engineer who has actually reduced the, the fire uh, rating or the, the amount of time that, that, that we need to design the building to last for so that the firefighters can come in uh, to 90 minutes. A timber element which is burnt and charred, it's actually not that hard to, uh, to, to repair a timber element. If you had a, a concrete reinforced concrete column structure uh, that was subject to fire, it would actually be difficult to ascertain what sort of damage, particularly with the steel which sits inside that concrete, uh, what's occurred there. So timber, you actually kind of, it's, it's easier to see what, you've, what, what you're dealing with uh, and, and even to rectify it. So generally speaking, most of the projects we've been associated with, we've gone with a concrete, reinforced concrete uh, groundworks, uh, where we actually uh, don't use timber when we're in the ground, uh, and then we try, once you get out of the ground, particularly above ground floor, that's when you can really uh, implement uh, a good timber structural system. Which is really no different to what you have in your house at home. You know, Absolutely. it's the same thing as your house, you might have little concrete piers or really high treated mm. timber. People are worried that you know trees are important because they suck up the carbon dioxide, uh, and here we are cutting down all the trees. Ugh. What are we doing, Callum? Why? And trees grow, so when they're growing, they suck in the carbon dioxide, right? That's how they grow. Um, when they get to a certain age that they don't grow much anymore, they they don't really suck in as much carbon dioxide. So by actually chopping them down and using them as a product, as a building product. Um, we're actually trapping that carbon, we're storing that carbon dioxide in the, um, in the timber itself. Um, and it's, it's amazing too, I mean timber has, it has what they call such, such a low um, embodied energy. So what does that mean? Well concrete for example, we make concrete, we put a lot of materials into concrete. Um, Steel is another thing, we put a lot of different materials, a lot of heat, a lot of energy is used to make steel. Um, but timber is our lowest um, kind of energy using product. It's our only natural building product that we have. Um, so sustainability wise and energy wise and whole of life type situations, we're really kicking goals here with um, using timber. In 25 King Street, we're not actually using the core for our lateral system. We use the, um, the braces that you see around the building, um, the diagonal braces, um, all the way around. We have a tensile force, so that, that element wants to pull out of the, the connection. And in, in, in many cases, those connections are, are the, the load is transferred through a steel plate with dowels that, yep. that, that, that intersect those steel plates. Yep. And, uh, it's important to use steel in some of these sort of applications um, and that's because the steel will act as a duct, in a ductile fashion. Uh, some of those failures using timber is what's called a brittle uh, design failure. And a brittle design failure, essentially you don't want that plug of timber ripping out without any uh, warning. Uh, and so steel again it is, has its place, uh, particularly due to that ductile nature and that it will elongate uh, before a failure and that helps significantly to, um, if, if nothing else, even warn people uh, that, uh, that, that failure may be imminent and that it will make a bit of noise and uh, that will assist um, with, with safety.